One of the greatest genres to have ever hit the music scene is rock music. It started and helped pioneer other genres that we listen to today, such as punk and alternative rock. It helped introduce a generation to music that is full of diverse choices, that are still evolving and changing to this very day. Its messages and meanings helped impact even society as a whole. Now, since rock has a pretty long history, this video will be divided into four sections, or parts. And since rock produced so much subgenres, it'll be hard to cover them all. So I'll just cover the main subgenres that have made the biggest impact to the music scene, whether it be in a specific part of the world or worldwide, just to keep it clean and short. Now, without further ado, this is the history of rock music. The history of rock music dates all the way back to the late 1940s to the early 1950s, where rock and roll was formed in the United States of America. It was inspired by a mix of other genres at the time, such as rhythm and blues, gospel, and country music. At the time, these genres were generally connected to the African Americans, which resulted in these genres being referred to as race music. In 1951, DJ Alan Freed began playing rhythm and blues music for a diverse audience, which also happened to be when the term rock and roll was created and first used. Rock and roll started to take off with the rise of artists such as Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry, and Buddy Holly. It was thanks to rock and roll that we saw the rise of instruments that we use today such as the electric guitar, which is a popular instrument to use in surf music, another popular thing at the time. Meanwhile, over in the United Kingdom, the skiffle genre was a big thing, taking influence from genres such as jazz, folk, and blues music. Many skiffle groups were formed, with one famous example being John Lennon's The Quarrymen, which would later move on to play rock and roll under its later name, The Beatles. It was due to this change that one of the biggest cultural phenomena in rock music occurred, the British Invasion. The British Invasion was a cultural phenomenon that occurred throughout the 1960s, where musical acts from Britain consistently topped the US music charts. The biggest groups to have come out from the invasion are the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, and the Kinks. During this period, the demand for these bands was so high that a term was coined defining the massive popularity for one of these groups. The term, known as Beatlemania, was a term which defined the massive fan craze for as the name suggests, the Beatles. Their single, I Wanna Hold Your Hand, was their first number one record on the Billboard charts. It was due to this success that led them to their first appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show, which is considered a huge milestone in American pop culture. The British Invasion helped solidify the influence of rock music not just in the US, but in the whole world as well. The 60s was also the introduction to some subgenres of rock such as pop, instrumental, and garage rock, with the short-lived popularity of surf music thanks to acts such as the Beach Boys. As the times changed, so did the people, which effectively ended the rock and roll era, and thus began the psychedelic era by the beginning of the new decade. From the mid-1960s, people began to experiment with their sound, but in order for them to get more inspiration, they took drugs, the most popular drug at the time being LSD. Artists such as the Beatles and the Beach Boys have all released songs that were influenced by drugs. This sparked a new era in rock music known as the Psychedelic Era. The Psychedelic Era was an era that promoted dreamlike sounds trying to replicate the melodies they hear under the influence of drugs. Famous artists who were the driving force of that period include Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and the Grateful Dead. The era kicked off when the album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and their Satanic Majesty's Request, made by the Beatles and the Rolling Stones respectively, were released in 1967. Pink Floyd even released their debut album during this era. 
The era was at the highest of its popularity at the Woodstock Festival of 1969, which was mostly featured by a lot of psychedelic artists. It began to decline with the early deaths of Hendrix and Joplin, as well as the breakup of the Beatles. With the 1970s, new subgenres such as blues, folk, progressive, and jazz rock emerged. On the other hand, genres such as glam rock and heavy metal began to make an appearance thanks to artists such as David Bowie and Kiss, with the subgenre of Christian rock, which was created to avoid the quote unquote demonic sounds of heavy metal. With the development of these genres, music is starting to become what it is today. But it isn't complete without some of the popular music movements that occurred throughout the late 70s to the 90s. Punk and alternative rock. After the end of the psychedelic era, two popular types of rock were formed and developed. These two types are punk and alternative rock. Punk rock was developed first, its origin stating between 1974 and 1976. It was based on garage rock and other forms of what it is today known as proto-punk music. Punk rock is typically composed of short, fast-paced songs with hard-edged melodies and singing styles, with lyrics often political. By 1977, it was viewed as a hugely controversial phenomenon in the UK as huge rebellious movements both fashion and music-wise spread like wildfire across the country. Some of the most famous frontrunners of the genre being The Clash and The Saints. Alternative rock, on the other hand, was actually derived from punk rock. It was inspired by punk's unique sound compared to other previous genres of rock. What's unique about alternative is the fact that you can't really pinpoint the characteristics aside from it being generally calmer from other types of rock. Alternative rock is, as the name suggests, an alternative to the noisy and loud sounds rock has developed in its recent movements. Alternative rock is so diverse that it even has its own subgenres such as grunge, Britpop, and indie rock, along with their respective frontrunners. It was also during these two movements that New Wave was born. Since punk was less successful in terms of record sales due to it being released by smaller labels, and the fact that many big labels are interested in the punk movement, big labels were opted to sign bands who had even the slightest connection to punk music. This led to the new wave genre, as it was, basically, a less aggressive version of punk. Some famous examples born from this genre are The Police and Elvis Costello. And at last, we are now moving on to the 21st century. Rock has changed a lot, from being a form of race music to being a form of movement giving political messages. As a result, it had a huge impact to society, even till today. As we will be moving on to the present day, and its overall impact to society as a whole. Rock music has changed a lot, from being a form of race music under the name rock and roll, to being this whole umbrella with multiple side genres underneath it. It has massively shaped music to be what it is today, with many songs and genres taking inspiration from rock music. Some notable events even took place thanks to rock music, such as the Woodstock Festival and the Beatles' performance at the Ed Sullivan Show. A lot of well-known bands gained prominence thanks to their love of the genre, such as Elvis Presley, Queen, The Beach Boys, The Bee Gees, and, of course, The Beatles. One of the biggest impacts rock music has made is its rise of bands with female members, breaking the previous gender barriers of the 1950s. Throughout other movements, such as the punk movement, many of the frontrunners were predominantly male, but as the times start to go by, more and more women are beginning to take part in bands, whether it be they play instruments or serve as the vocalist. Now, personally, I grew up with rock music being practically everywhere. My dad used to, well, he, he still does, play songs from way back then, 
most of the songs being from the Beatles. He also kept playing their songs on his guitar, which he just so happened to pass it down to me when I was 14. Now, I play a whole variety of instruments, and it was all thanks to rock music. And I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be the person I am today if it weren't for both the genre and my dad. I made this video not just because I love the genre, but it's also a way for me to help educate others on what the genre is all about and what forms they can listen to. Think of it as a way to open a gateway to the past for the children of the future, so to speak. And with that, the journey through time has ended and we have arrived at the present. This has been the history of rock music. My name's Kaina, and I'll see you all soon.